greetings. Uh, my name is Samuel and uh, uh, my name is Gilbert and uh, we are at Via Water um, workshop in Kenya, Manzoni. Uh, it's a really nice place here so we just wanted to share a little bit of our own experience as entrepreneurs and uh, this video we are making is mainly for the people who would want to become like future entrepreneurs. Uh, we have already learned a few things here and also in the process of um, doing our own project. Like you have your own project, right? Yeah. Now, Via Water is an innovative, supports innovative projects that solve water problems in African cities, mm -hmm. mainly focusing in Benin, Ghana, Kenya. Mali, Mozambique, Rwanda, and South Sudan. So Gilbert, what's your experience so far in this workshop? Wow, uh, the workshop is uh, good, but I think um, what we are getting to share with the rest of the participants here is their own, also their own experiences in terms of how they have been implementing their, um, uh, their um, they have their own set of activities and projects that they have doing and most of them are either in the process of being funded by the via water program or some of them are already funded and it's really nice to hear from many people how they have been had been the experience the whole experience of managing such kind of um the, such kind of projects and maybe to the entrepreneurs the future entrepreneurs or the people who are thinking of becoming entrepreneur i think what is important for us is to help them to understand the kind of environment that we operate in because uh, that would help them also to if they have their own ideas they can be able to like uh, have a good mindset before they start and i think that would be very helpful to them yeah thank you very much for viewers via water addresses pre about 12 pressing needs in urban cities they are mainly on water harvesting groundwater water quality data drinking water sanitation water in urban agriculture institutional strengthening water location financial arrangements urban planning and floods and drought mitigation so if you have any innovative idea around those fields mm -hmm. think of via water they, it will support your innovative ideas yes and uh, that also comes into the again to the entrepreneurs because uh, ourselves we are doing projects that are related to the entrepreneurship and i want to tell you as an entrepreneur that there are many organizations willing to support you uh, i think you might have heard of this that the idea is more important than the uh, resources or in terms of money because they are organizations that are willing to support you one of it is like the via water but again going back to where i stopped earlier the mindset of an entrepreneur is not just the any ordinary uh, mindset you need to be really creative and I mean by creativity I mean you need to be creative both in terms of the idea that you have um, it need to be an idea that is practical and um, can be really solve people's need and this is where uh, now things like pitching comes in because you need to communicate your idea to other people it may be investors it may be funding agencies like via water and when this comes up then you need to have a very creative way in terms of your presentation so it's not just about the idea and number two also the kind of relationship that you're going to establish you will realize that <laughs> yeah <laughs> you will realize that you need to uh, relate with every pe person in your field of uh, of operating or the field that you are operating in then you also need to be very creative in how you deal with all these type of people being be it in terms of uh, communication be it in terms of uh, how you are going to ask for the funds all that yeah thank you Bill Gilbert okay good okay. luck okay good luck and we wish you all the best so if you want to become an entrepreneur it's a good thing and it's you are welcome to join us and the best field in art, I think. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>